Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2, Tropical Fun. Now, I haven't wound back the previous video and looked up what I was doing right at the end of it. Well, that would be too easy, right? Uh, also, apologies if you can hear the guy with the lawnmower outside. Yeah, it's that time of year. Uh, anyways, we're sitting here over by Tempe. Now, uh... I'm pretty sure last time I mostly got everything around uh, Berkeley sorted out. And now we've got this massive stack of stuff around here, around Tempe and um, Lincoln. Now, I could uh, stick an absolutely friggin' massive freight hub in uh, right here between Tempe and Lincoln. Um... And that's kind of what I'm leaning on into doing. Now, the problem with that is that we have one, two, three, three farms, two iron mines, well, three iron mines, a fourth farm. Like, we have this huge mass of stuff around here that would have to come in to, uh, to the hub. And a lot of it is pretty close. Now, uh, we're... Yeah, I'm thinking that uh, a lot of it, uh, like by the time you build the hub over here, it's going to need to have an absolutely ridiculous uh, number of platforms. And I'm not entirely convinced that, uh, that I can fit it all into a single station. Now, we don't actually have to do that uh, with the... Uh, with a freight hub, uh, it the stuff will move between stations. So uh, this may be a two-part hub, uh, and uh, you know, or a three-part hub, or something like that. And that that would be fine. Um, it it doesn't take much to link a couple of stations. Now I'm thinking that uh, I'm going to end up connecting a couple of these. Uh, um, um, whatchamacallit, industries with trucks just because of proximity and that will help on the platform count. Now, uh, what I I want to uh, check here is whether it makes sense to... Well, okay, so I'm going to need a connection up to the island here where Wichita is. Uh, I'm going to need a connection down to Berkeley and probably a connection directly up to Killeen and a connection out to, to uh, Laredo probably. Uh, now it occurs to me that I should probably set up a hub at Grand Rapids and then a hub up here at Tempe. So if I were to do a hub at Grand Rapids where would I put it? Well, I'd, I'd be vacuuming up... A, okay. Yeah, it's a, a com complicated scenario because I've got, already got a bunch of those industries connected up. Right. So that's why I'm coming down here. And part of that is I'm going to bring these two uh, industries out uh, along here into the, uh, the hub as well. But I'm wondering if maybe I should put a hub over here. That would catch this, 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 this. That's f okay. So how many tracks would I need? Uh, well, I'm going to need a track to deliver oil to here, and a track coming back, which probably would stop here to drop off plastics and then head back. Uh, and that's box cars for both of those. So I'd need tankers to here. Box cars here. Uh, and the box cars here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that could be a. Okay, so that's one, two. Flat cars, three. Uh, gondola is four. Flat cars and box cars here. So that's six. Tanker here, which is uh, seven. Uh, gondola here, eight. Tanker here, nine. 
Flat cars here, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Um, yeah, so just this stuff up here would be 18. Uh, so that would be uh, 9 tracks plus the connectors. Um, yeah. So that's definitely going to be a large uh, hub. Um, yeah, so I'm not uh, not entirely sure here. It sounds like the guy mowing, it's my neighbor, uh, left it about a week too long. He's uh, having issues with his uh, mower uh, stalling in the grass. I'm not surprised because some of his grass is a foot and a half tall. Uh, right. Now, uh, what I need to do here is stop just fiddling around and just do something. Yeah, yeah, that's what I should do. So the first thing I'm going to do is plop a hub in here and you know I think I'm gonna put it here yeah yeah I think I'm gonna put it there okay uh, so we'll do that buildings cargo we'll put eight we'll make it 320 we won't put catenary um, Okay, that angle actually looks okay. No, I'll put it on that angle. Yep, drop it. Okay, now we need to configure it. The first thing we're going to do is get rid of the buildings. We don't actually need them for these hubs because they're just uh, freight interchanges and they don't need to connect to the uh, local stuff. Now, uh, we need to extend. Now I wanted to have... I, I was going for 160s for the uh, connected platforms, right? The, for the collector platforms. Uh, okay, so, okay, so that gives us room for 160s, so, um, right, I'm going to need to extend the uh, platforms here, like this, right, now, I need several platforms for the interhub connections um, but I'm not sure what those are gonna look like so I'll figure that out later okay so we can't add any more tracks going that way but we can add them going this way how, let's see how far we can go so we can go there platform and then we can do one two and a platform Okay, so two, four, six, eight, we can get 12 tracks in a single station on the width. Now, and we can put steps on it here, but we can't over here. Okay. So that means that we could add an additional station here to connect it. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to remove these. And we have one, two, three, four. That's uh, 160. So we'll take these out. Okay. That's one, two, okay, good. 
Right. Okay. So that gives us um, 16 platforms here. Uh, right. Uh, so, uh, what did it call this thing? Lower Tempe. We'll call this Tempe Hub. Okay. So that's the Tempe Hub. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is build this connection here because this is going to be a right pain. So, I'm going to start up here because I need to fig I need to get across here uh, somehow. And I've got enough money I can build a whacking great bridge and I might just do that. But I'm not entirely sure on that. Now, we're going to need two platforms here and we only need 160 length. Uh, I'm going to put it on this side. Um, now. Okay, that's got a... Did that actually connect? No, it didn't. Delete it. Okay. Now, um, let's try this again. Okay, we've got tendril action there. Good. That connected. Okay, so this is Everett Chemical Plant. Okay. So this is going to be Everett Chemical Plant. Right. Now, we need to get over to here, and we're going to have a drop-off uh, for boxcars coming this way, and a drop-off coming this way, and a drop-off for flat cars. Okay. That means we're going to need... Um, yeah. Uh, we're going to need three platforms here, I think, ideally. Uh, and then we're just going to need... Uh, yeah, and then I'm going to parallel this connection here. Yeah, okay. Uh, we don't have a road on there because I removed it. And if I can fit the station on this side, that will work better. That's going to want three platforms. Uh, right. Well. Oh, that could work. Yeah, we're going to have a tight uh, radius in here. But uh, that, that should be fine. Now, I need to get across. Now, I thought about island hopping around here, but that's just not going to be practical. So, what we're going to do is grab... Regular tracks, no catenary. And then we'll uh, take this out uh, level here uh, just so that we can get a uh, crossover in. Yep. Okay. Now, uh, over here... I'm not going to need a crossover on this side, because this is a through track, okay? But it needs to bend around and line up that way, okay? Well, that looks okay. Yeah. Now, I'm going to need a bridge, and this is going to be a whacking great bridge. Uh, let's see how expensive that is. Three million. Let's make it an iron bridge. Now, whoops. If we raise it a bit, now we can make that navigable. Just on account of. Why not? Okay, so that gives us 12 million. We have 385 million. So you're going to take it, are you? Yep. Now, 
How much is the other half going to cost? Oh, probably about six. Yep, about six. Take it. Okay, so that is a whacking great bridge. It doesn't look half bad, though. No, no, it doesn't. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Uh, right. Now, I need to get this around to here. So, now what happens if I do something like this? And no, I don't want it to go across. I want it to snap. Okay. Well, you're going to have to do it from this side. Right. You're going to have to do this, you see. And, hey! It does uh, work. Now, what does it look like over here? I think that's tolerable. Nice! And we got a nice cut in there. And we have a corner... That's tolerable. Okay, that means we'll be able to get this track across like this. Double slip it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that gets things uh, uh, functional there. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, bring this track across. Uh, oh, come on. Click the right thing. Yeah, like that. Now, since we've already uh, piloted the trail across here, now, you might think that I should just uh, merge the tracks and come out over here, but I've got enough that I can afford to, uh, to quad track this, so I'm going to, so we just don't interfere with... Um, with the uh, existing passenger service. Now at some point I need to start upgrading the passenger services. But I'm going to wait until I have uh, good uh, diesel um, uh, locos. Oh come on. Okay. I guess we're going to do that in a smaller hop. Okay, so that's another whacking great bridge. Okay. Cross we come. Uh, oh yeah, we've still got to wind our way across there. Right. Okay, so we came around like that. Now, of course, at some point I can replace these bridges with something faster, but I don't think we need to just yet, so I'm not going to. Okay, good. Now, once I get across here, I can peel off over here. Okay. Now, I need boxcar, tanker, I need three platforms here, and I'm going to need two, three, uh, okay, so this one, I think this one's going to be trucks, uh, this one is a gondola up to here, so that's going to be, that'll come in on this side, yeah, so I want to come up to those. Okay. Well, well, come in here. Yeah. These 90k stone uh, bridges, they look nice, but they're slow. Uh, right. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to bung that across. Okay. No, oh, maybe I'll bring this one in on this side. Okay. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Uh, I'm going to 
bring this around. We'll diverge here. A uh, little bit like this. Yeah. Let's keep it a uh, little bit level coming off of here. Okay, now. Uh, okay, well, what we need to do is take this road that's in the way out of the way. Uh, right, okay, so we take this road out. Right, now we can just um, grab the track again and wang this around. And I think we wang it onto here. Uh, like that. Actually, no. Uh, let's uh, back this up here. You know, you could just, you know, plan things and then this would be easier. Well, yeah, I could. Um, okay, so we're going to bring this out flat to about here. Yeah, definitely trucks for that. Uh, okay. And we'll bring this out flat to about there. And also here. And I think this one as well. Okay. Right, now we'll come in on Yeah, we'll come in on this one, actually. Yep, just like that. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, that doesn't slow anything down, so that's good. Yeah. Um, okay. Now going to need a crossover here and also uh, you know I'll put a crossover here as well yeah and and we'll need a uh, crossover thing like this. Yeah, like that. And just for giggles, come on. Okay, yeah, and we'll do a crossover thing like that. Yeah, uh, so that's going to have to double slip, and so is that. Uh, what am I doing with that? I don't know, but it should allow every track to every track there, and that's the goal. Uh, right. And then this is going to come around to here. And here, I guess. Well, no, just up to here. And then this one will come around to those. Yeah. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to connect that up just yet. Um, right. So, that should be... Uh, that should, in fact, be a functional set of tracks. So, I'm going to uh, bang some signals on here. Right. This is all nice and tedious. So, uh, are you going to let the class in on what it is you're doing here? Well, if you haven't been watching, uh, I'm building a comprehensive freight network. Uh, are you now? Yeah. Uh, why? Because I can. Oh, I see. Uh, and you expect this to work out, do you? Well, I expect... To eventually get everything connected to everything. 
right. Um, and um, how do you uh, envision that uh, working out? Well, not entirely convinced it's going to work well at all. But the lines on here that I've got going that are actually connecting up to things seem to be making cash. So, uh, you know, it's not such a terrible plan, near as I can tell. Uh, I mean, Colonel Failure thinks these types of setups are lazy, and he might have a point. Uh, I don't, however, think they're quite as lazy as he does. Uh, and that's simply because they're a little bit harder to make a work well than it appears on the surface. So why are you putting the uh, signals closer to together on this freight line than on the passenger line? Well, I'm doing that because uh, I've got, I'm going to have more trains on this line, and I want them to be uh, running potentially closer together. Is that your uh, plan? Well, it's an idea. Okay, you go there, and you go there. Right. Uh, what I could do, you know, of course, is uh, just do this part uh, between uh, uh, episodes and just jump past it. Yeah, yeah, I could. But you're not going to, are you? No, no, I'm not. Uh, okay, now we're at the divergence point. Which uh, looks weird. Uh, yeah, it does. Uh, right. Okay. But at least the uh, bridge walls are not uh, coming straight into the... Uh, tracks there. Uh, yeah, that is something, isn't it? Uh, okay, now you're down to your last uh, signal here. Uh, you probably don't need those. Yeah, probably not, but I put them anyway. Uh, I guess I'm going to need one of those here too. Right. Now, how are you going to fling trains at this? You know, I don't actually know. I kind of want to fling them from back here. Do you know? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of do. And why is that, do you think? Because then every new train can ride around this spectacular loop here. And you think that's a good idea, do you? Well, no, probably not. But you're going to do it anyway, aren't you? Well, yeah. Okay, well, if you're going to do it, just do it. Right. Okay. So you're going to run it right through the station. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, well, if you think that's a good idea... Well, I don't, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. Now, uh, you're going to need a... Uh, signal on there, I think. Uh, tracks. Signals. Not one way. And stick it there. Um, yeah. Uh, put that back to one way so you don't forget. Okay. Now. Let's fling a couple of trains on here. Okay, so we need a tanker train. Uh, by vehicles. Uh, we don't... Oh, we have a diesel. We have an Alco. That's uh, 450 kilowatts, 125 kilonewtons. 
Now, what were we using? We were using the Mika dough, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, we're going to keep using that one for the moment. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, cargo. Uh, we need tank cars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, right, okay, now we're going to go on a new line, and this is going to go here, and it's going to go way over here. Um, okay, so that's going to be Cargo Rail, Everett, Chemical to Tempe Hub. Uh, and that's uh, tank. Okay. Now, uh, we need also uh, up here uh, we're going to buy a vehicle and again steam. Uh, we're going to go with the Mikado cargo box cars. Uh, yeah. Okay. And that will carry plastic and uh, goods, right? Yeah, so that's plastic. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Uh, okay. Buy one. And that is going to go on a new line, which is going to uh, start here, stop here, stop here, and stop here. Uh, what was I, uh, it was ever, not EVRT. Uh, right. You. Edit. Ever. Okay. Now, line one. Rename. This is going to be the uh, Tempe Cargo Rail. Tempe Hub to Everett. Everett, uh, that is a goods and uh, ever chem. Okay, uh, I need to rename these. Uh, so that's goods factory. Um, okay. And this is uh, Everett Goods Factory. Yeah. Okay. Now, what have we got here? Uh, we've got the two coming there. And we have those two coming through here. Now we need the uh, flat cars for steel. Okay. Buy vehicles. Locos. Grab that one, cargo, uh, flat cars. So that one, yeah, we'll grab that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, bye. And this is going to be a new line, which is going to go here. And it's going to make its way here. Right. Um, right, okay. So this is going to be Cargo Rail, Tempe Hub to Everett Goods, Flat Car. Okay. Now, let's uh, take a look here at how the line routing is going. Uh, right, uh, lines. Okay, yeah, I need to adjust this one to use the crossover here. Okay, 
Otherwise, that looks okay. So, uh, that would be that one. Right. Okay, so I'm going to need to add a waypoint right here. Yeah. And then we'll go back on here. Uh, we'll go here. We'll manage the line. Tempe hub. Okay, we'll add a station here. Right. And I'm only doing that because of my uh, uh, CDO, uh, right? Uh, okay, now, in case you're wondering, CDO is sort of like uh, OCD, but with the letters in alphabetical order. Now, um, that's not to uh, minimize uh, the real uh, OCD disorder, which is, uh, I have no doubt, uh, not exactly helpful for the people who suffer it. Uh, now, uh, let's uh, find a train on here. Which one are you? Uh, that's a flat car. Uh, I want to grab the... This one is the multi-hop one. Okay. Um, so I'm going to uh, close this one out by uh, riding this one at uh, high tempo because I want to see the uh, I want to see the line well this doesn't look half bad that's kind of wobbly but yeah it'll do you know having these uh, electric signals is nice now uh, you know Tempe is a pretty sizable place isn't it okay we uh, pull in here. Yep. And then we wander back out again. Okay, now let's see the whole length of this. I kind of like the, the how this these things look. Hello, autosave. Uh, kind of like how, how all of this is coming together. Uh, right, I, I thought once I got the passenger hookups done that things would get really boring and uh, you know they haven't at least from my perspective uh, right okay into our uh, tunnel oh look it's a play-by-play -play. Uh, right um, You know, at some point I should go through and uh, relay the uh, the, tr the uh, or redo the signals on the uh, passenger line. Uh, right, I'm I'm gonna hold that until we get good electrics. I think because I, I think I will uh, run the uh, the um, uh, passenger lines with electric. Uh, Although having the the catenaries, uh, the catenary poles and everything there, really slows down rendering. So uh, maybe not. Maybe I'll stick with diesel. Wacky great bridge isn't too bad. Uh, yeah. You know, I think this line will uh, work out nice. Uh, so next time, uh, I think what I'll do is uh, run the uh, uh, I'll run the uh, the quarry and uh, other connections uh, on that side. And then I'll add the uh, the interhub connection and. Uh, now, I'm not sure how I'm going to do the interhub connection. Uh, I'm half thinking I want to do it as a separate station, but at a different height, so that I can bring the tracks in from the local stuff under the, uh, the uh, main hub station. 
That'd be nice if they could add that feature at some point to the game where you can have multi, uh, multi-height multi stations. That would be really nice. Uh, if you can have multi-level stations with platforms at different angles even. Uh, that's uh, harder to do than it sounds, I'm sure. But it would be really nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I think the Colonel would call a cheeky tunnel. Yeah, it kind of works. Um, yeah, I might uh, go back and adjust that to be a, an embankment, and then the divergence will look a little less uh, uh, wonky. Uh, okay, we'll back down to whoops, uh, normal speed here. Uh, right, okay, so... Yeah... Uh, I want to connect... I think the uh, hub connection is going to go down to Killeen. Yeah, I think it is. So how am I going to get a hub connection into Killeen? I don't know. Because the uh, hub lines are... What are the... Which ones? Um... Are this is this platform so it's these lines um, oh no I could come across come off here um, I could bring the uh, 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 lines off here come around this way and I could come up and over this connection and run it down this way. Yeah, that might be what I, yeah, no, I'm not sure, uh, but I'm going to need to get the, uh, the hub connection in, uh, at some point so that, uh, you know, we can start sharing, uh, stuff around, but, um, but actually, you know, we've got oil, uh, we've got crude, we've got, uh, we don't have an oil refinery up here, do we? Uh, we got... No, that's an oil refinery. We don't have crude up here. Do we? No. Yeah, that's going to be the, uh... Yeah, I'm going to need to get that in there to, uh, to, to really kickstart everything. Yeah, we do. We have crude over here. So another hub over here for Lincoln would uh, allow everything to wake up yeah maybe i'll do, maybe that's what i'll end up doing anyway uh we've got uh plenty of uh of cash running so uh, i can build out a bunch more infrastructure and uh oh yeah we got crude up here too well, maybe i'll build the hub on on the wichita island and then build the connection up to there yeah, that's probably what I'll end up doing. Anyway, uh, uh, right. Uh, that's going to be all for this time. Uh, you can go go away. Uh, so that's going to be all for this time. Uh, so next time, uh, probably be uh, fussing around with more connections in here. This one in particular. And then... Uh, Um, well, yeah, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll, I'll be messing around with some more connections up here around Tempe. And, uh, then from, uh, from there, uh, I guess, uh, it'll be, uh, 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 some uh, figuring out what to do next. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all for this time. So, you know, stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much. And, uh, you know, see you back next time.